Dr. Warkala Gabiyahu, the Executive Secretary of IGAD, Cabinet Minister, Delegation from IGAD. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Let me begin by welcoming Dr. Warkala and his delegation back to Somalia. This presence here with us today translates the close cooperation between us. Over the years, IGAD has distinguished itself as a key institution addressing conflict and promoting peace in the Horn of Africa region, while at the same time contributing to the developmental issues. The numerous programs being implemented across the region have resulted in tangible growth and development in our countries. We are happy that the organization has, over the past three plus decades, evolved into a strong regional body setting the agenda and even championing regional integration. The many diverse specialized centers of excellences of the organization, established in different member states of our region, are a clear testimony to the growth and progress achieved. These centers are playing an important role in generating necessary knowledge and capacity to help the region tackle a number of important challenges. However, I believe we can all agree that the most serious challenges for the region today is the worsening impact of climate change. Our growth and development is constantly being undermined and taken aback by the destructive effects of the increasing frequencies and intensities of extreme weather events. Somalia and many parts of the region are suffering from the aftermath of impoverishing droughts and deadly floods that are becoming even more frequent. Our populations, especially the pastoralists, smallholder farmers, and other vulnerable groups continue to pay a disproportionate share of a cost of accelerated climate change. It's in this regard we are here today to launch the Center of Excellence of Climate Adaptation and Environmental Protection in Somalia. The center will focus on ways and means to utilize research, data, and scientific knowledge to help the region cope with climate change and achieve environmental sustainability. sustainability. Climate adaptation has been given equal prominence under the Paris Agreement to climate change mitigation. The agreement established a global goal for adaptation which is requires similar reporting and implementation. Somalia hopes the center will become the most comprehensive center of excellency in the continent to focus entirely on adaptation matters. We hope the center will contribute to the science of adaptation as well as practical applications that are measurable and verifiably to support the policy making process in our government and practical implementation in our communities. We also hope that the knowledge pr produced by the center will contribute to a better global understanding of adaptation. It's also worth noting that the establishment of this center also serves the purpose of the implementation of IGAD strategic vision, the African Union Agenda 2063, as well as the implementation of the Paris Agreement. Somalia has provided the initial requirements for the establishment of this center. We have set aside a strategically located facility and we will take a leading role in resource mobilization. I believe this will push forward our collective desire to peace, security, and stable development. Before concluding, 
I would like to acknowledge the Minister of Planning, Ambassador Jamal Hassan, for spearheading this initiative. And I would like to express my sincere gratitude for his tireless effort and dedication towards realization of this important milestone in our country's history. Excellency and my dear brother, as I always, we count on your unwavering support and brotherhood to see this initiative become successful. I thank you. Your Excellency Ahmed Abdullah Formajo, President of the Federal Republic of Somalia, Honorable Ambassador Gamal Mohammed, Jamal Mohammed Hassan, Minister of Planning, Investment and Economic Development, Honorable Ambassadors, Excellency Ministers, Distinguished Participants, and Ladies and Gentlemen, all protocols are observed. It is a real pleasure for me to join you here for the launch of the EGAR Center of Excellence of Climate, Adoption and Environmental Protection. I am pleased to be with you, Your Excellency, alongside with my colleagues from the international community and from IGAD and the stakeholders from other and so civil societies. My delegation, Your Excellency, and I always look forward to coming home to the warm hospitality of the Somali people and visiting the legendary Mogadishu, one of our IGAD capital by the sea and a gateway to the global frontier. As one of the founding members of IGAD, Somalia has always been close to our heart. IGAD is deeply honored, Your Excellency, the President, by the role that the government and the people of Somalia have allowed us to play in the rivers, recovery, resurgence, and re renaissance of our glorious nation. In addition to supporting a political process here in Somalia, Your Excellency, IGAD has also stood in solidarity with Somalia on the important issues, notably coronavirus response and particularly with the vulnerable cross-border communities through the donation of the first consignment of emergency response and other very important cooperation with your team, Your Excellency. Additionally, at 25% of Somalia has privilege of having the highest proportion of public office trained under IGAD programs. Studies at the IGAD offered to the member states in 2021. New IGAD projects in the pipeline on the in enhancing the blue economy and building resilience to food and nutrition insecurity have equally granted Somalia the status of the leading project implementation state. In this regard, we are truly delighted that with the support of IGAD and our partner Somalia is on the rise and poised to soar to great heights once again. Turning to our theme of today, Your Excellency, I will open my remarks by saying that the decision on climate change adoption is not the, the exclusive province of policymakers. It is a matter of urgency for all of us. As I underscored recently in Bo's annual IGAD stage, address the message to the United Nations Climate Conference, left in glory, the impact of climate change will cause our homes as a human race. And I need to emphasize that we do not have a spare planet in which we will seek refuge once we have succeeded to destroy the planet that we are living. Time is therefore running out of everyone to be part of the global movement to save our precious planet. At the IGAD region, Your Excellency, the African continent at large, we are undoubtedly on the frontiers of climate change and disproportionately affected by its negative impact. And this is in spite of making at least <coughs> contribution to the factors that pose this challenge. 
This will have significant consequence on hab habitation, migration, and health food security status of the region, not to mention the potential impact of conflict situation in our region. Here in Somalia, as other parts of the region, we have been dramatic shifts in our seasonal patterns and in, in increased frequencies of extreme weather events. By now, we are familiar with the devastating cycle of drought that is swiftly followed by flooding, which in 2020 caused the displacement of 450,000 our brothers and sisters, and worse still this year, has instigated food insecurity of 5.6 million Somalis this year. And more than that in our region. This extreme weather, Your Excellency, have wider implications from the regional economy and especially the agricultural and livestock sectors. Igar region is home of 520 million heads of livestock, two animals for every one of us, most of which are reared and fragile, arid and semi-arid environments that are frontiers to climate change. <coughs> Your Excellency, mm, in regard to today's program, IGAD has every intention to further build this, the capacity to establish disaster situation monitoring units across all our member states in 2022. And this center that we, today we are launching today is play a pivotal role in rolling out our ability to arrest, respond and adjust the changes going around us. Focusing on Somalia, IGAD has been supporting a lot of activities, Your Excellency, that I don't want to mention. Under your leadership and your colleagues, Your Excellency, IGAD is moving with all its challenges. Our region has a lot of challenges. A challenge on peace and security, a challenge on climate change. But <clears throat> the political support of the leaders of our region will assist IGAD to navigate very well and be with our member states when we need support from the, our member states. Today's Climate Change Center of Excellence, which is denoted generously by the government and the people of Somalia, will be a testament that, that your commitment that IGAD is working with you and will work with you. Your Excellency the President, this is a very historical time, a historical moment. I hope that I can assure you that this center of excellence will be one of a very vibrant center of excellence which will work not only with Somalia but with all the regional people as well. Thank you for generating giving this center in the name of IGAD, we will work together and we will achieve and we will defeat the challenges we are facing in terms of climate change, peace, security, and every aspect. Thank you very much, Excellence. I just first of all like to thank His Excellency the President for giving us the opportunity to pursue the ambition to bring this center here to Mogadishu. Your Excellency, today is a big day, it's a historic day for Somalia and for the region. And we also would like to thank our brother, Dr. Orkina, for accepting and fast-tracking the process to come to Mogadishu and launch this center today. أد ما نقول فرحنا هاي كسر دوانا وعندك كسر دوانا يا وزارة البيرة هي ورابط وزارة دن أد ما نقول المدح وين وجود دلالي سي عن سلك وجود دلهاي ووزارة دقيمة هي قاية على هاي الكسر عدل لهاي وايدي هون بدل نبض باك الصعدة بدل كل يو نبض بدل يكون تياترة حاجة دم بدل نبض باك الصعدة 
شقبلهم بعد الله صوته وحوجو هرية وسهر السماء صوم وعين هرت السلك الدكتا سأقرك وحوجو قبل كرتو وحان كسود ذا اللي يا فرتين سنة ضد إن وسهر ذا كشقينه وحان الإم كلاكم فرح سنة هاي إن هي هي ذا بدن أو كله يو وحي لو بعض بع أن كسود برتجلين إنه Welcome the Edgar delegation. Welcome to Mogadishu. Welcome to the Minister of Agriculture and Irrigation.